Welcome to Max Stars. This is the weekly forecast for the 26th of September until October 2nd. Um, well, basically, Mercury just began to retrograde the other day, and Mercury retrograde times are uh, a time when we're often having to deal with concerns regarding delays, miscommunications, uh, breakdown of uh, systems, that type of thing. Uh, Mercury represents business and trade, commerce, everything mercantile. And of course right now uh, we're holding our collective breath to see uh, how the markets are going to behave. We know that uh, uh, the economy is teeter-tottering in the United States and we might very well learn of uh, more uh, serious concerns. Uh, there was an astrologer that had uh, um, taken a look at the um, uh, possible birth times for the United States, uh, to fit the United States chart. Uh, generally, the uh, um, ascendant of 13 degrees of Sagittarius has been the accepted probable ascendant for the United States. Uh, this particular fellow, I just can't bring his name to mind right now, I can't find the article either. Uh, but he, through his work, uh, um, brought the ascendant to 29 degrees of Sagittarius, uh, bringing the birth time till about 6.30 p.m., uh, July 4th, 1776. And interestingly, uh, what this fellow did was he tracked uh, all of the major events in U.S. history and, again, uh, whittled it down to that particular birth time. Uh, there's, uh, he also mentioned in his article in the uh, Mountain Astrologer um, that uh, an Indian savant had also come up with 6.30 p.m. as the birth time uh, for the United States. However, the planet Pluto right now is transiting uh, at uh, 29, 28 degrees of Sagittarius, so it's basically sitting right on the U.S. ascendant if we were to look at that, uh, that particular birth time. And the events that are going on now, I mean, the pundits and the people in the media are talking about the worst financial crises in a hundred years. Uh, 1929 uh, revisited, that type of thing. Uh, and actually, in some of the different publications that I've done over the last uh, year or two, I have talked about it before, about the possible... Uh, uh, Pluto passing over the Ascendant uh, as indicating a, a, a great catharsis, a breaking down and rebirthing and rebuilding uh, of the nation in some particular way. So this looks like it's on board and along with transiting Pluto being on the Ascendant in, in the United States, we're in a Mercury retrograde phase which basically never is a whole lot of fun. Oftentimes we're having to rewrite and regroup and rethink the plan. And recently we've heard about um, uh, President Bush and uh, Senator McCain and Senator uh, Obama uh, getting to the White House to talk about strategy to uh, save the economy. Now uh, Saturn is moving along into an opposition phase with the planet Uranus that is starting to come on strong <coughs> now and will be in effect for a year, <coughs> pardon me, until September uh, 2009. Saturn is the old school. Saturn says stick to the status quo, stay to what you know. Uranus says blow the door down, try something new, try something different, try something unique. So Saturn represents the old guard, the old school, the good old boys club. Uranus represents freedom, rebellion, uh, innovation. So no matter where we are on the planet, no matter what politic, no matter what religion, no matter what philosophy that we may have, we can definitely bank on it that we are in the process of a catharsis, of a, of a realignment of how we live, how we carry on. And obviously the oil prices are dominating, the oil prices are dictating exactly how it's going to unfold, probably over the next uh, 25 to 50 years of time. We got a whole new social birthing going on. We're in the process now. No 
big deal. I've been here lots of times before. All right, God bless. More later.